All right, carriage horse people. Here's a little lesson. This guy just trained a trip, bike trip midweek, getting ready for the races. He's a trotter. If you'll notice, trotters, the power comes from their end, and that's where they get sore. So see this stuff? You just got to soak that, by the way. Imagine the equine equivalent to Ben Gay, because that's what this is. Called blue lotion. Stimulates circulation, loosens up the muscles. You see what I'm doing? You people can talk all the bullshit you want. This is what we call rubbing. When you take care of a horse, the biggest slang is uh, I rub this one, I rub that one. Because back in the old days, everybody literally rubbed their horse. So what I'm doing with him is where they're most prone to getting sore, especially a guy like him. And I watched his replays, and I also watched the way he's wearing his feet, his hooves, and the way he goes. His problems are in the rear end, which is typical. That's where he gets sore. So every day, when I'm done with him, especially his right side, if you watch his videos, you can see earlier in the mile, where he looks stiff on the right side. Let's just say, from, in layman's terms, he is. He's six years old, he's lightly raced. His name is Senior Bye Bye. I saw all his previous records from people that had him before me. Thousands and thousands of dollars in vet bills to the owners. Because that's the way they do things. I, on the other hand, will take the time to do this and rub him. Another thing is you'll notice I'm doing it right after I trained him and right after we got a bath. That's because now he's nice and clean and his pores are open. And I can really get this stuff to get under the skin. Create a little heat. You gotta be careful. Horses are like us. Everybody's different as to what their tolerance level is. He is what we call thin skin. See how he's bouncing around? He feels everything. He feels a mosquito landing on him. So you gotta be careful because what you can do, you can actually blister him. Horses, you can blister them with water, another little blister, palm olive. You can blister them with anything if you irritate the skin enough. This is what I was talking about the carriage horse people who chose to just vilify me. Hang on. And ignore me. Believe it or not. When it comes to the care of a horse, I know what I'm doing. I see he's dancing. That's that cool warmth you feel like after you rub your knees or your, you know, muscles. Ben Gay or Flexol. Same idea. Exactly the same premise, the same stuff. Just they leave out some some of the ingredients that are more of an irritant to a horse and actually cause problems, right? And now that he's done. other tricks and something I'll do once it warms up after they train and I don't see these things done anymore obviously I'd say most people still at least throw a blanket over them after they train so they can try to cool out properly even though it's warm out today and he's gonna go right back in this field in about 10 minutes but um what I will do is I'll actually get some coolers. I'll put on one cooler, and what I'll do is I'll put a piece of plastic up over his hind end. Moist heat. I've also I've also done joints where I've, before the races, older horses with uh, bad knees. Hear that bubbling? That's a good thing, by the way. 
you want to hear movement in the digestive system in that gut. Things that you just, you guys don't monitor in New York City that you should. But, um, I had a horse named Novel High that I saw people posted as a horse I owned, and I did. Back in the day, he had a bad knee, really bad knee that had arthroscopic knee surgery. He had the two entry points right here. Tons of uh, fibrous hematoma, whatever you want to call it. Had trouble bending the knee before he warmed up. I would take a moist cloth, wrap it first, blue lotion, then a piece of plastic, and then a heating pad. 10, 15 minutes, loose as a goose. Kind of like right after what they did with the tin man when they squirted him with the oil. So, talk all the shit you want about me. This is being a horseman. And you gotta treat them like horses. Not tools, not machines, not just a vessel to, you know, to earn your living, which is fine, because this is the same thing I'm doing here. This horse races, he makes money. And, and he has been happier since I got here that he's not just sitting in the field doing nothing. And you've seen the videos, he goes back out there, bucking and kicking, rearing, trotting, running, galloping, rolling. He wants to go now, right? I'm gonna go back and do <laughs> Take care of your animals. They deserve it.